Genron. Admit it, life is boring. Reality doesn't cut it. Doesn't your everyday routine just sap your soul? Don't you wish life had more zest, more verve, more, I don't know, elan? Well, now there's meaning to your awkward existence. The Genron Corporation. Genron is dedicated to bringing you the most exciting products this side of your face. No idea is too grand. No technology too advanced. We're about you. All about you. Look. Just look. Isn't that fantastic? And what about this? Doesn't that make you smile a big one? But how in the name of science do we do it? Lean in close. The secret is animals. Yes, animals. You often see them wandering the streets, bored and penniless, crapping all over your station wagon. And though they seem hopelessly dumb, we here at Genron overlook their lack of previous job experience and put them to work in our factory, testing the latest in our amazing line of products. And if that doesn't work, we merge them into new and improved animals in our genetic recombinator. Using this machine, which you have no hope of ever understanding, we can combine two animals into one. Can you imagine a weasel rabbit? Don't you love it? Say you love it, Genron. Oh my god, get away from that! We're out. I can't believe it. We're out! Bad guy! Bad guy! Stop! How do you outsmart the fox? When he chases you into tall grass, do you run or lie still? <laughs> Listen closely. I am going to give you the most important piece of advice if you want to escape from this place. <laughs> Who's gonna get you? I'm gonna get you! Get you, get you, get you! Hello? What do you want? What now? Animals? On the loose? You know the drill. Send in the hazmat hunters pronto. Or death to you, your wife, her aunt, your family's pets, your analyst, your second grade teacher, your cartographer, and your son's son, and his son's daughter. Who'd I forget? You're dumb. I could really use a deep tissue massage. Your energy, while admirable, is misdirected. Oh my god! It's the voice from all the movie trailers! Do you know the secret to defeating the humans? Um... No, not really. Cut loose. In a world where a voice from the heavens tells you to cut loose. <laughs> around every corner. Time to move. Follow my voice. Hey, can you do me a favor and stop breaking everything with my face? Yeah. Thank you. What might seem like an insurmountable jump is but a child's play if you allow your arms to be like vines. So, basically what you're trying to say is just climb over it? Do you see your escape route? Maybe you have something in your possession that can unblock it. What are you? A ferret? A badger? No. Let me guess. A scrap! That's it! That's it, isn't it? Couldn't have been changed to a hamster. Nope. Nope. Lab rat? Nope. Had to be the tweaker weasel. Here is where man tests the safety of his toys. 
This is the first of many atrocities you will witness humans commit on his animal friends. Another fine example of human barbarism. The hamster cannon. That's just plain mean. Put an end to this experiment. Excellent work. But that machine will be quickly repaired unless you inflict more lasting damage. security eyes, or else jeopardize your safety. The rules of the hunt have changed. These are not the fields, and your prey is not the road. Man is your prey, and you must strike at what he loves most. Destroy his stuff! A little consideration here for those who, you know, aren't as speed up as others. Maybe you can find a way to bring the world crashing down on the humans. Really, this is fabulous. I can actually feel my insides. Kind of tickles.
Excellent. You have left your calling card. Now make yourself scarce while I attend to other matters. <laughs> Animals, let's be frank, are dumb. Why won't people just come out into the open and admit it? Animals are stupid. They don't use money, they don't have thumbs, they have no people skills, they're lazy. I mean, we all have to work, nobody likes it. Life is hardship. I've never done a thing I wanted to do my entire life. Come up and for the animals, my friends. They've gotten a free ride far too long. And so, quite frankly, have all of you. You're fired. Meeting adjourned, gentlemen. Not just yet. No, 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 no. Yes. No, we have nothing to say to each other. I come with a warning. Peanut butter! Set the animals free, Franklin. Set the animals free before it's too late. You're out of your mind! Do you know what would happen if I freed all the animals? We could make breakfast tacos. Nope, can't do it. Animal research is too important to science. The wheels are already in motion. Do the right thing or this company will fall. Look here, friend. I know you're an employee, and I know that you're in the building, and I know that when I find you, I'm gonna poke you in the eye. Shut down main elevator access to all hubs. Those little crawdads aren't going anywhere. Now entering main hub. As always, please refrain from antagonizing the lunch lady. This is the first of many obstacles you will face. The elevator before you leads to freedom, but the power has been cut off in order to prevent your escape. Your goal, restore the power. What's all this then? Escaped animals. Well, congratulations. Honestly, you look like a pair of fine gents, you do. Good teeth. I bet you might even escape. Right then. Elevator, see it there? Get you out of this hub. The problem is... Him. Uh, fatsy fat fat friend there controls the elevator. Lucky for you, he's got self-esteem issues and an affinity for chocolate. 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 Now, look over there. That's the cafeteria. Chocolate lives there. A ton of it. Get the idea? But you need to get to that ledge over there before anything else. Now, I'll wager that if you swing that chain over your head, real fast-like, you'll glide right across like a dandelion. Got it? Right then! My master's calling me. Um... Oh, have I wronged you in some way? I'm unaware. You are just as crazy as all get out. Oh, my. 
Looks like Hassenpfeffer's back on the menu, boys. She's talking about, like, hash browns, right? Mr. Chocolate. Hey, don't you think I'm handling this pretty well? Did you know a weasel ate my mother? Weasels eat everyone's mother. Now entering endurance. Home of parachute testing, techno quality assurance, and cryogenic. I have a weight to martial arm of some sort. Don't suppose you'd stop if I told you how painful this was. Hmm? Didn't it? Press a button, get a cookie, press a button, get a cookie, press a button, get a cookie. Slow down! 
so I can eat you. Just as crazy as all get out. Entering Robotics, home of RoboWeasel Assembly, the indestructible hamster, patent pending, and the world famous Danger Room. Oh my god! It's Roman Polanski! Get him! in my legs is fascinating. So
ready to commence pain experiment 36. Proceed. Initiate voltage. Now. No readings at all. Confound it. I was sure I fixed it that time. It could be your breath. I've been waiting for you. What are you waiting for? Throw me at her! <laughs> I've got a message for you from our friend. Skedaddle to the power center and get that elevator working on the double. We'll see each other again. Just don't get caught. You know how to read English? Yeah, me neither. So that's your whole plan. Mindless destruction, that's it. No pun your subterfuge, just needless maniacal crazy chaos. Oh well, I was on my way to the recombinator anyways. You're a bad, bad loser. Or whatever you are. you in some way I'm unaware of? What? Wow! You know when you use me to smash that guy and ran up there dragging me behind you? Nothing else! I can't get away if I get stuck in that thing! Remember that? Don't ever do that again! Stop! In the name of science! Please! few words and even fewer sane actions. Oh boy! Incredible! Absolutely astounding! Let's see the other one. Excuse me? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize you could hear me. Has something happened? Power to the elevator. We restored it. Super excellent! You're almost there. Now make your way back to the main elevator, but be cautious. It's not the only thing you activated. Nice.